Welcome back to Tipton Bros. Today, we will be discussing the Swedish M37-65 helmet. Design and features of the piece will be provided. Before we begin, I must disclose that I am no expert and never claim to be. Now, let's get into it. Sweden would employ the model of 1937 helmet design until 1965, when the liner and suspension system was revised. This modification created the variant you see here, the M37-65. The shell remains unchanged from the previous M37 pattern. A smoky matte gray paint is most common on these Swedish helmets. As per usual, the national emblem of Sweden is a focal point on the shell, three crowns emphasized by an azure blue shield. A second variant of the M37-65 is common, and towards the end of the video, I will highlight the differences. Most examples are in unissued condition, and this one is no different. Let's first examine the liner. Being essentially brand new, the sweatband is clean with a bright blonde leather. It is adjustable, and this specific liner is sized from 55 to 59 centimeters. The chin strap is an old school buckle style, and nothing to write home about. Retaining the chin strap are the two external rivets, which are essentially split pins, like on a German Stahlhelm. These split pins run through a cork buffer and hold the chin strap in place. The suspension is green cotton and is a copy of the World War II M1 style suspension. A cool design feature of the M3765 is its bracket system. On leather variants like this one, there is only one attachment point for the entire liner and suspension structure, making it nearly free floating. The five brackets are sheet metal painted olive drab, which meet at the top of the helmet. They are connected using what I think is a countersunk rivet, or possibly a screw. Either way, it holds both liner and suspension, being surrounded by a black foam pad, shielding the top of a soldier's head from contacting the shell. This is considered an earlier pattern of M3765. I'll throw some pictures of the later pattern on screen. The second variant has a canvas quick-release chin strap, among other notable characteristics, such as a separate suspension system. The leather type, which I've showcased today, has two external rivets and one internal mounting point, while the canvas type M3765 has six external rivets and four internal mounting points. I hope this helps differentiate the two. If you would like to purchase one yourself, they are abundant and cheap. Costing right around $30, the M3765 is a great budget option for head protection or simply collecting purposes. They are exceptionally comfortable, and I'd highly recommend you pick one up. I hope you've enjoyed today's brief overview of the Swedish M3765 helmet. We are a small channel, so a like is greatly appreciated, and recommendations are always welcome. Again, I am no expert, and never claim to be. Until next time, on Tipton Bros.